Darren, in reflection, do you feel a point was probably fair there? Yeah, I think, it was, I think both sides can be happy with a point. I wouldn't say one team over another deserved to win it, but happy with a point. Obviously, when you factor in the journey um, on Tuesday as well, um, maybe that contributed to us not starting so great and then obviously falling behind, but then we've, we, we've recovered that with, a, with another very similar finish from Josh uh, to, to Tuesday night's finish. Um, so, yeah, I, I am on reflection. I, I think it's a fair point. Just how impressed have you been with Josh Walker since you've given him that's two goals in two games now? Listen, I know there's a player in there um, and, you know, it, it'll just get better and better. Like, I believe in all of the players and, and certainly in, in our young ones. I think they've all got big futures if they listen and work hard and, and Josh is another one that's similar to your Efron's and JT, Harry Taylor, uh, Wes, you know, all these young boys. Um, they've got a chance and Josh will just, you know, he'll grow and grow in confidence from scoring and his performance was OK as well. But as I always say, win, lose or draw, I just keep pushing and demanding more from everyone. How important can results like today be when we're going away from home at the teams that we know are going to be competing in the long run? How important can a point here be? Well, if, if I look at the solid old point and then we've backed that up with a, a win on the road and then it might be the reverse this week. You know, we've got a point on the road and now it's, it, it's key that we go and back that up with a, with a win on Tuesday night at home. So, you know, sometimes you can feel frustrated from not winning and, and obviously extremely disappointed when you lose. But sometimes you've just got to hold your hands up and say it's a, it was a decent point against a team that are 10 unbeaten so you don't accidentally uh, go 10 unbeaten. So I take a point and there'll be things that we can improve on. There's no doubt about that, but I'll settle for that today. The Bees fans came out in their numbers today and really made a noise to get behind the boys. It's how impressed were you with them and uh, the love they showed for the boys? Today. Yeah, no, they've come out in numbers today and, and they've got right behind the boys. And, you know, it's nice to see them clapping the boys at the end and the boys returning that and clapping them and thanking them. So, listen, you know me, I'm always grateful to their support, win, lose or draw, but certainly today out in numbers like really pleased so thank you and just finally how big is this week coming up now two massive games at the Hive what would you say to them to get behind the boys for a huge week for the club now listen I just I, I, will, I will constantly believe that they've got a part, part to play you know days like today when we haven't played as well as we possibly can and there can be our 12th man and get right behind the boys and we need that 12th man at home because you're not, you're not going to play beautiful football every game and it's going to be comfortable and you win 2 or 3-0. It's going to be times when we need them. And, you know, it might be Tuesday, it might be next Saturday, but, you know, they, they've got a huge part to play. If they really get behind us and, and we back them as well and we all stay together, you know, it's what I go on about all the time. If we're together on all this, we'll give ourselves a great chance.